Hello and welcome back to another video. Now I know what you're thinking, this is not a Volkswagen Caddy. And you're absolutely right, I've come down to Cornwall to see my mum and dad. And between me and my dad we're going to go off do a bit of foraging, hopefully get some shellfish and do a bit of a catch and cook for lunch. Come out to do a bit of foraging for some mussels, some scallops, and I have found a scallop. So this one is, I think, a bit too small really. But there is a lot of evidence to say that there's some bigger ones like this kicking around. So we've got some mussels. I'm gonna put this guy back. And just go in there like that. There he is. And we'll see if we can find a bigger one. But that is our first forage scallop. Yes. Pretty sure this guy is called a furrowed crab. He lives in the rocks. Put him back in there. Stay there, mate. Cover you up. Nice little prawn. Use the bait. Bend back. Another the crab. And then a little cushion starfish. overnight and now you can see all the sand that is coming out of those so we're now going to clean these up pick through and make sure that there's no dead ones and uh, get them ready for lunch On a mussel, you have this little beard, you need to remove that. Then any of these little barnacles, you're going to scrape all of those off as well. Just give them a nice clean. I've already done these, a couple have already cleaned up. So, yeah, you use a knife just to scrape all that off, and now we're good to go. Mussels cleaned, cockles cleaned, we are ready to go. mussels and the cockles that we foraged from the beach the other day. We have got some oil in the pan and we have got some cut shallots here on the board. So when that oil is nice and hot we're going to get those in along with some garlic. Sweat that off so that is nice and soft. Mm 
Now with these mussels, I have already cleaned these as you saw earlier in the video. So I've removed the beards from them and I've removed all the barnacles that were on the outside of them as well. So they are now all nice and clean. Again, with these cockles, I've also scrubbed and cleaned those. So any of the old seaweed that was on there, I've cleaned those as well. One thing to note with any kind of shellfish is that if it is open and you tap it and it doesn't close, it's dead and you need to throw it away. Okay, so always be careful with things like that. The next thing to note is once you've cooked it and it hasn't opened, you also need to throw it away because it also meant that it was dead. So these are nice and sweating off. We're going to tip our mussels in and we're going to tip our cockles in. Give them a bit of a coat. They are starting to warm up a bit now. So when that pan has come back up to temperature, what we're going to do is we're going to add a generous slosh of New Zealand Marlborough white wine to the pan. And we're going to reduce that by half. So that's coming back up to temperature now. Now we're going to add our wine, nice glass of wine, and then we are going to steam that by putting a pan on top. Because I don't have a lid, that is big enough. So the lid is now on top of the pan, creating a steamed environment for the mussels and the cockles. So we're going to leave that on there for about four or five minutes, and then hopefully when we remove that, that pan would have built up a lot of steam, a lot of heat inside of there, and that would have popped open those shells so that then they will be cooked. Once we've done that, we can add some cream, finish it with a bit of parsley, serve it with our bread, and then we have got our white wine, garlic, creamy mussels and clams with some nice toasted baguette. Okay, so they have been steaming on there now for four minutes. We have opened up the pan and look, you can see the majority of those have opened. So all the way open inside there, that one. There is one there that hasn't opened. Oh, there it's just open now. There's another one there. They have all pretty much opened. They're all looking really, really good. So we are gonna just reduce this cooking liquor down for another couple of minutes. And we're gonna add some cream. They are looking really nice. Double cream. To go in. It's actually about ready. Double cream to go in over the top. half of that. Just going to sit in that for another couple of minutes. Bring that back up to a boil. Mussels are now boiling away again. Just going to reduce that temperature so that they can simmer. And finally, we're going to add chopped parsley. Simmer. A bit of pepper. Don't need any salt because the salt mussels lands from the sea, so that's still be enough already. Give it a little taste. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, lovely. That's pretty much done. Okay, so get the baguette out. Let's get these mussels and the clams into our little dish. green shit finish it off lovely top of bits of butter how about that lovely those cockles and mussels were absolutely delicious Thanks very much for watching this video. I'm going to get back out into the Volkswagen Caddy very, very soon. Stay tuned.